Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will create 5 cards using different stencils that have just been released by Altenew. By the way, this is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release and make sure to visit my blog because there is a giveaway there. Before I go ahead and make my cards, I will quickly browse through all the stencils that have just been released and I will actually showcase 5 of them in this video. So the first one was the Calligraphy Maze stencil and this is the City Scene stencil. As you can see at the bottom and at the top you get a, a city line, a different line that you can use. Here are two of my favorites. This is the Flowing Drops stencil and this is the Aztec Motif stencil. I will be showcasing both of them today. Now this is a really fun stencil, it's called Step Builder Stencil and you actually flip the stencil to complete the design. I will showcase it and see. you will see how it is used. This is the Elegant Swirl Stencil, it gives you this beautiful background design and I will be using this as well today. This is the Filling Dotty Stencil and this is one of those stencils that you will be getting again and again since it gives you this very versatile look. This is the Mega Hydrangea stencil. It is really gorgeous when you use it. And here is one that uh, is really unique. I love how you get all those lines. This is called Molded Lines stencil. And finally, here is another beauty, which is called Spring Garden stencil. Now, I will start creating five different backgrounds with all those stencils. And first, I will start with my glimmer paste. So I have these uh, white uh, panels, which I'm going to secure on my craft table. And then I'm going to use two of the stencils. So I will be using the Blue Topaz Glimmer Paste over the Flowing Drops stencil. I'm just applying everything with my spatula. And you can probably tell how much I love this uh, color of uh, Glimmer Paste since I have already hit the bottom of it and I need to order more. I'm going to peel off my stencil and you can see the beautiful design and all that shine that I get on my background. And now I need to wash my stencil and then I will move on to the next stencil. This time I'm working with Moonstone Glimmer Paste over the Elegance Wheels stencil. Again, I'm going to lift uh, the stencil so you can see the beautiful design, although it is quite difficult to catch on camera since it is white on white. However, you can probably see how shiny both of these panels are and um, you probably can see the dimension. The more uh, paste you apply, the more dimensional it will be and I love that this glimmer paste holds its uh, shape beautifully. Now I have left these panels to dry and I will go back to them again and this time I'm going to work with a different technique. I'm going to apply Distress Oxide Ink over the Aztec Motif Stencil and I'm going to apply everything with my distress brushes. So I'm masking off some areas, combining masking tape and uh, post-it tapes. And I'm going to use my brushes. Now, as you can see, I have some uh, color-coded um, rings around my brushes. And this is just acrylic paint, if you are wondering. Now, I'm going to apply my colors and you can see the colors on your screen right now. I just uh, decided to combine those three, but there are so many different combinations that you can use. Just look for Aztec color combos online and you can um, make so many different looks with this stencil. Now, I'm going to move on to the next area and again, I'm going to mask off the bottom. I am using only one of those brushes for each color family. So now I will switch to the one that I'm using for the orange shades. So I only have seven of these brushes and I use them for pretty much every color. Now the advantage of using these brushes is that when you use them over a stencil, the, it doesn't lift areas of the stencil. So you can go as hard as you like over it and you will still get a really crisp result. And now I can lift the stencil so you can see the beautiful result. And I will get back to this background later on to create my card. So now I'll move on to another stencil and again I'm going to use the same technique using these brushes with Distress Oxide Ink. Now the stencil I'm using is the Step Builder and this is a really fun stencil to work with. First of all I'm going to apply my green shade and you can see how I clean my brushes from one shade to the other. I just rub my brush on my paper towel roll. So now I am going to apply my Distress Oxide Ink. 
And for this uh, card, I am combining Twisted Citron with Peacock Feathers. So I'm going to leave the stencil and now I have to clean it uh, nicely since uh, I need to use this uh, dirty area. Now everything is clean. I'm going to place it on top so you can see how it was and then flip it over. So now I need to align those little triangles. I'm going to secure it in place with the purple tape that I have at the back. And now I can go over with my brush and apply my peacock feathers. Once the whole area is covered, I will peel off the stencil. But first I'm just cleaning it quickly with my paper towel. And there you can see how beautiful this background looks. You can play around with your favorite color combos and you can create beautiful backgrounds for pretty much any occasion. For my last panel I will be using the Cityscape stencil and I'm using the inspiration at the back, so I will try to recreate this look. I'm working on a piece of uh, blue cardstock that I have no idea uh, which company it is or which uh, color since I just grabbed it from my stash and I'm now going to apply my Distress Oxide inks. First of all I tried to find the Distress Oxide ink that is very close to the color of my cardstock, just slightly darker. This way, this skyline is going to look as if it is far back at the background. So you can see how slightly a color difference I have. Now I will flip my stencil over, just making sure that it's nice and clean there. And now I can go ahead and use a darker shade. You can see all three shades that I used on your screen right now. I started with Mermaid Lagoon, I have applied my second shade which is Faded Jeans and now I'm going to finish it off with Black Suit. Remember that if you flip the stencil on the other side you will get a mirrored image of these skylines so you will end up with uh, four different variations of the skyline and um, you can have different looks without anything repeating itself especially if you slide the stencil slightly from one side to the other. And here is another look on all the five uh, backgrounds that I have created using the stencils. Here are the first two that I used Glimmer Paste, it is now totally dry. And these are the three next panels that I used the Stress Oxide Ink. The first card I created is super simple, I just cut out the letters to spell hello. And these come from uh, another new die set which is called Cups Bold Alphabet Die. So here it is, nice and big. And I just used a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have also trimmed the panel slightly so you can see a white border all around. Now I will go for a wedding card, so I will use Congrats from the script Words die, and I have already cut out some of the flowers from the Rose Flares die that you can see here. You just cut them out and stack one on top of the other to create a beautiful dimension. And for all my cutouts, I just used this um, specialty paper, which is silver satin by Tonic Studios. Really gorgeous. Their whole um, satin uh, collection of cardstock is just amazing. And I'm just going to stick one on top of the other to create my flower and my leaves. I am going for a very elegant look and I really think this uh, silver rose is super elegant. I'm going to stick that on top of my card with um, a foam square to add dimension. And I'm going to embellish it with the silver leaves. And I'll just tuck them underneath my flower. And hopefully you can see all the dimension and the shine that I have on my background that I created with the stencil. Here are some close-up photos on the card and you can see more photos on my blog as well as at the end of this video. Moving on to the next card where I used the Aztec panel, I have just cut out the bottom following the lines. And I am going to use my crop tile to create holes where those dots are at the bottom. And you can see that I have already created my card base out of craft colored cardstock. Now I'm going to use my scissors and cut out a bunch of uh, this uh, white thread. I need as uh, many pieces as uh, there are holes. And the idea here is to create a fringe. So all I'm doing is just uh, wrapping those pieces in half and threading them through the holes. And I will repeat the same process for all the holes. 
I think this is going to be a really unique card and uh, I really love the outcome, probably my favorite of all the five that I have created today. And here is the finished look, I am really in love with it. Now I'm going to use a very thin strip of double sided tape at the back where those knots are since I want to make sure that these are not going to become undone. And I will not even bother to peel off this double sided tape, I just need it to be there to make sure that everything is going to stay as it is. Now I'm going to add some foam tape all over the back of my panel and stick that on top of my card base. And of course you can, depending on the look that you like, you can leave the fringes as they are, way longer than the card. I decided to use my scissors and just give them a trim so they are flush to the end of the card. To finish off my card, I used the sentiment hacks that I have die cut. This is one of the words in the script words die. I have used the same set previously where uh, I used the die that says congrats. And now I'm going to add some uh, nouveau drops on top of all those dots and every time I'm using a coordinating color. This is going to add some shine on my project and at the same time a little bit of dimension. And here are some close-up photos of the card. Now this is super easy, I just uh, cut out my sentiment using the Thinking of You die by Altenew and as you can see I have foam underneath which makes it really stand out against the background and I tried to find in my stash a cardstock that um, matched perfectly the, col the blue color on my card so I used that to cut out my sentiment as well as my card base and I'm just adding some gems to embellish my card a little bit more. Here are some close-up photos and the foam that I used underneath the sentiment that you see here is actually a product by Sizzix. You will find it linked down below. And here is my last card. All I did was to emboss my sentiment and to cut out the word thanks and stick it there. My card base is made out of uh, black satin cardstock. And here are all the five cards that I made for today using uh, stencils from the latest release by Altenew. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired on different ways to use stencils. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hop with lots of giveaways and tons of inspiration along the way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those 5 cards was your favorite. I always like to see what uh, you guys like. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.